Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a project planning and tracking template in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this template. On the top, we are showing some dashboards and charts. So first we are showing the count by status. You can see the task count by the status and here we have the task count by the priority. Here we have estimated hours by team. Then we are showing the estimated hours by date and this is the estimated hours by task. At bottom we have the data and here you can use the data entry. This is the task ID, then the task name. This is assigned to and we have created a drop down for this. This is assigned team name and it is start date and date. This is the duration wherein we have used the formula end date minus start date plus one and this is the status which is a drop down this is priority high low medium and this is again a drop down here we have the estimated hours which is the duration multiply eight this is the actual hours which you have to enter and then here we are providing the progress notes and the normal notes okay so you can input the data here now let me explain you how you can create this in google sheets step by step let me copy this whole i'm just uh, going to copy this data and uh, go to the file and new and click on a spreadsheet let's paste this data from here somewhere and paste that we have pasted the all data but let's Let's paste the data from row number 25. Use shift control and B. So we are pasting the data as value. I will show you how you can quickly format this. So just select whole data, align this center, align this middle, reduce the font size around eight. Then select this data header and uh, take the nine and bold and take some background color. So let's say I'm taking this dark color and font take white. Okay. For the notes, you can make it slightly bigger. Okay. So data is ready. Go to the view. So uncheck the grid lines from here. For the first row, we will make it slightly bigger and just increase the height. So let's select this range till here. Use merge cells and fill the dark background like this one. Font take white. Take around 20 or 30 and font name take Arial rounded take the font white and just type here project plan template and just align this center and middle and increase the size slightly okay so now first thing we will create the drop down here so you can simply select this range and uh, then right click and just make it drop down and done so automatically it has taken the drop down similarly here also you can select this assigned to right click and make it drop down and similarly for the team also just right click and make it drop down okay then we will make the drop down for the status right click and make it drop down if you want to change the color you can change it from here for completed take this one and uh, for in progress this one not started let's take this one similarly for priority right click and make it uh, drop down for high let's take this green and for low let's take this red and for medium let's take this yellow okay so we have created this one now first chart we will create by status so let's go to the insert and insert a chart now we will add the data so just click here and uh, we will add first count by status so we will select the status till the end and click on ok okay so we have this one just use the aggregate and use the row use row 25 as header okay so we have here completed in progress and not started just go to the chart type and take the pie chart here this one and make it smaller let's keep the chart here 
then we will do some customization go to the customize make it 3d chart first and then go to the pie chart and take the label as value move move the legend at bottom okay and uh, you can change the colors also using the pie slice for the completed let's take this green and for in progress you can take this yellow and for not started let's take this one okay now add the title also so just double click here and uh, go to the customize and go to the charts and access title and put here task count by status just align it middle take the some dark color let's say this one and font size take around 12 okay this chart is ready you can just keep this here just make a copy of this and paste here and for this one we will take the donut chart so let's take this one and you can again make it 3d okay now here we will change the reference so we have taken it for the column h now we will take for column i which is priority just take here i and same here and just hit the enter so this is by priority just change the title task count by priority okay now we will create the other charts also so let's copy and paste here and this time we will create a bar chart so just double click and take a bar chart here so we can take this bar chart and we can take it by the assigned team which is column d this one so just take here d25 and take here d25 and just hit the enter so we have here team you can see and you can make it slightly bigger like this and this one also and this one also okay so if you want to change the color you can just click here and uh, just take the color this one and you can remove the grid lines also just uncheck that just add the data label so just to add the data label you can go to the series and here click on the data label so we have the data labels here now we will change the title this is the task count by team okay and if you don't want to take the task count you want to take the estimated hours you can take that also we have here estimated hours so you can take it on column j so what i will do here go to the setup and go to here and add the estimated hours which is on you can make a copy of this and just take i and here just take i okay and we have to do some adjustment here okay column i is the priority we have to take the column j by mistake we have taken i so just go here take here j and take here j and just hit the enter so this is the estimated hours and uh, and just click here add series and here we will take estimated hours and just take here assign team okay so now this is working and we will create another chart just make a copy of this and paste here and here we will take the estimated hours by time so we will take here date make it bigger just change this chart and uh, here we will take this is estimated hours by team and this will be estimated hours and go to the setup and take this line chart this one and here we will change the hours is okay but here we will take the range of date so we will take the start date this one take till the end okay here we have the date and the x-axis should be date and here use estimated hours you can make this font slightly smaller so it is visible okay here you can customize it like you can make the line smooth and in the series you can use the point size take around 7px so it is visible 
all right so this is estimated hours by date now we can just make a copy of this and paste here and we can take this as a column chart make it bigger we can insert here two three rows one more okay now we can make it bigger double click here and set up just change it to the column chart this one and here we will take the task name column b so in place of v just take the b and here also click on ok just change estimated hours by task okay so we have to adjust this so here take the task name and add series as estimated hours all right if you want to make it 3d just go to the customize and make it 3d okay so that is how we can create this project plan template in google sheets all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching